Hello everybody. We are going to do a very useful session starting from today. It is net revision course based on recent exams. Tadang! I'm sure this will help you immensely. If you look at all the topics that are asked in recent times, it will immensely help you guys. How do you like my idea? See guys, did you miss me? I did not come to you for two, three days. So, are you ready for a discussion of questions based on previous exams? Guys, what I did is, I looked at lots of recent question papers and made questions based on the options. We will do this a lot. First, we will do based on gate 2022. This poem took nine years to be written and is based on exotic source material of Hindu scriptures. Poem that took nine years to be written based on exotic Hindu scriptures. This reflected the author's growing commitment to British colonial expansion and a desire to extend the benefits of Christianity and civilization. What does that mean? The author is committed to British colonialism. The author wants to expand, extend Christianity to other countries. This poem took nine years to be written based on Hindu scriptures. Yes, guys, it is the curse of Kahama by Robert Sade. The curse of Kahama by Robert Sade. Ta -da -da! Robert Sade wrote a lot of Oriental works. Let me explain a little more. Robert Sade wrote The Curse of Kahama, Madoc, Talaba the Destroyer. All these are exotic Oriental tales. But Curse of Kahama is based on Indian scriptures. So no guys, Hamatraya by Emerson is also based on Hindu scriptures. Ulalume is actually based on Middle Eastern. So all these Asian texts, we should know. They are all part of Orientalism. And these Asian texts are part of colonial and post-colonial literature. So these texts have been put under post-colonial criticism. They show the colonizers' interest in the colonized cultures. Hamatraya, Ulalume, these are all prescribed in universities. Okay? Now, identify the novel that begins thus. On an evening in the latter part of May, a middle-aged man was walking home from Shaston to the village of Marlott in the adjoining vale of Blakesmoor or Blackmoor. Blakemoor or Blackmoor. The pair of legs that carried him were rickety and there was a bias in his gait which inclined him somewhat to the left of a straight line. Which book begins like this? Shaston 
Marlots. Blackmore, are you sure, guys? Remember in gate exam, they asked the opening line of A Tale of Two Cities. A Tale of Two Cities. And they can ask all the classics. It is not Jude the Obscure. You are wrong. Jude the Obscure begins like this. Yeah, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sake. Why is it called Jude the Obscure? Jude the Obscure. It is Tess of the Devils. It is Tess of the Devils. This is Tess's father. Jude the Obscure. Why is it called Jude the Obscure? To show that Jude is a nobody. Poor obscure people. You know, uh, Tess, Jude the Obscure is a nobody. Now, in Tess of the Devils, Tess's father is walking and he hears from a priest about his family background. And he becomes very excited. Remember, guys, about of all the major classics, you should know the opening lines. They might check any day, any time in any exam. This is about Tessa's father. Okay, Jude the Obscure begins by a reference to women. Yeah, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sake. Hmm. Now, are you ready for the next? Did you like these questions? Did you like the session, guys? Which of the following is or are true about Tilo, the character created by Chitra Banerjee Divakaruni? She is ready to sacrifice her love for the spices. She is an immigrant. She is a clairvoyant. Tilo is a character in The Mistress of Spices. The Mistress of Spices. I'm, re I'm removing this. She is ready to sacrifice her love. She is an immigrant. She is a clairvoyant. A, B, C. Which of these is true? Bolo, bolo. Bolo, bolo. Jaldi, bolo. Which of these is or are true? She is ready to sacrifice her love. She is an immigrant. She is a clairvoyant. Shall I explain guys? Tilo is an immigrant in America. She is running a spice shop. And it, is, it has been told to her that she can heal people with spices, but she should never touch them. There is a man called Doug who gets into an accident in front of her shop. And she falls in love with him. And she has a, she is like a, a prophet. She has clairvoyant properties. And the spices begin to teach her a lesson for touching Doug. Many of her customers start getting problems. Finally, Tilo decides to sacrifice her love. And then the spices forgive her. So all are correct. All are correct here. Tilo is an immigrant. She is clairvoyant. Clairvoyant means she has prophetic properties. She is ready to sacrifice her love. That is also correct. Finally, the spices are forgiving her. A, B, C. All are correct. When there is a question asked in net set or gate about any one book, remember to read about that book immediately. Remember to read about that book because based on that book other questions will come. 
Did you understand? Now, which of the following describes the opening scene of Girish Karnat's Tughlaq? In GATE 2022, there was a question based on Tughlaq. Bolo, which of these describes the opening scene of Girish Karnat's Tughlaq? Citizens are expressing their resentment for the Sultan. The Sultan declares his decision to shift the capital. The Hindus and Muslims are debating on the jizya tax. Which of these is right? Bolo, bolo. Remember, when they ask a question, read about it. Everything is there in the internet, henna. You should read a little bit about Tughlaq. What is the opening? Who are the characters? What is the summary? What are the themes? Which of these begins in the opening of Tughlaq? Dekho, those who did not read are all going wrong. I don't like this. You have to take all your question papers, net question paper, set ka sabhi question paper, then uh, gate ka question paper. Usme jo kuch dikta hai questions mein sub options pad lo, uske baare mein pad lo. You have to read about all those books and others. Of course, capital is shifted, but that is not the opening scene. Citizens are expressing their resentment for the Sultan. Citizens are expressing their resentment for the Sultan. That is what happens in the opening scene of Girish Karnat's Tughlaq. Capital is shifted is not the first thing that happens in the play. Okay, guys. Yes, Sankal, I know this is going to be very useful. We will do like this a lot. The main theme of Tagore's play Muktadhara is Dash. The main theme of Tagore's play Muktadhara is Dash. A king denying people water by building a dam. Is it happening there? A king freeing his people from water scarcity. Is it happening there? A king making free resources available to his people. Bolo! Kya hota hai Tagore's play Muktadhara mein? What is the name of the king? Ranajit. Ranajit is the name of the king. Hai na? Uttarakud or Chitrakud. A king is denying people water by building a dam. A king, there are two countries there, two countries. And will you please read about Muktadhara? A king, Ranajit, is building a dam. That is what happens in Muktadhara. Guys, please join our course. We will deal with all this in detail. It is already there in our material. I have added a lot of things again and we will deal with all this. Join our course and it is so inexpensive. It will do you immense good. Which of the following authors uh, is wrongly matched against the year in which they won the Nobel Prize? VS Nepal 2001. Correct. Yes, yes, in Udemy, I will keep on adding new materials, new topics. Yes. VS Nepal, 2001, correct hai kya? JM Kutse, 2003, correct hai kya? Dekho, ye Northeast Slet 2022 mein based hai. Pinta, 2005, correct hai kya? Lessing, 2007, is it correct? Doris Lessing. Which of these... Is wrong. Which of these is wrong?
बोलो इस नेपाल 2001 करेक्ट इस कूद से 2003 करेक्ट पिंटर 2005 करेक्ट गाइस 2017 नोबेल प्राइजेस का जुओ इशिगुरो नहीं 2017 इसका जुओ इशिगुरो Kazuo Ishiguro is 2017. Shall I tell you the answer? All are correct. All are correct. Nahi, 2017 Nobel Prize is Kazuo Ishiguro. Nobel Prize 2007 is Doris Lessing only. Check online otherwise. Then, which of the following authors are wrongly matched against poetry collection? Looper Carl Ted Hughes, Station Island, Heaney, High Windows, Larkin, The Map of Love, Robert Frost. Bolo na. Which of these is wrongly matched against poetry collection? Looper Carl Ted Hughes, correct. Station Island Heaney, Sheamus Heaney, correct. High Windows Larkin, correct. Map of Love is not Frost, it is Dylan Thomas. Map of Love, uh, Robert Frost is wrong, it is Dylan Thomas. Henna guys, remember to check out poetry collections like this. Okay? Then, which of the following novels is a detective story? Bolo. Northeast is let me who I had a question. Is it Bleak House? Alton Lock. Bleak House is by Dickens. Alton Lock is by Charles Kingsley. Armadale is by Wilkie Collins. Villette is by HSA Books. Almost over. It will come soon. Villette is by Charlotte Bronte. Which of these is a detective story? It is Bleak House. We have Inspector Bucket in Bleak House. In Bleak House, we have Inspector Bucket. It is a detective story. Bleak House has a detective bucket. Armadale uh, is a suspense story, sensation novel, but detective nahi hai usme. Which of these describe Mary Wollstonecraft's work, Maria or the wrongs of woman? Which of these descriptions is correct? It is a philosophical and gothic novel. Correct, hai kya? It is a philosophical and gothic novel. It is the story of a woman imprisoned in a lunatic asylum. It is a parody of sentimental fiction. Which of these is correct description? Uh, is it a philosophical and gothic novel, Bolo? Is it the story of a woman imprisoned in a lunatic asylum? Is it a parody of sentimental fiction, Bolo? Guys, all three are correct. All three are correct. It is indeed a philosophical and gothic novel. It is the story of a woman imprisoned in a lunatic asylum by her husband. 
and it is a parody of sentimental fiction. All three are correct. Maria or the wrongs of woman. Will you remember guys? All three are correct. Is this helping you based on recent exams? Now, the magistrate in the 19th century British Empire does not want to be cruel towards the nomads they have stolen the land from. The magistrate is not cruel towards the colonized people. He chooses to help the nomads instead of locking them up. He even spends his nights trying to understand their language. He wants a peaceful retirement. Which novel is this? Is it Ant Hills of the Savannah? Waiting for the Barbarians? The Feast of the Goat? Which of these is this? The magistrate in a 19th century British Empire. He does not want to be cruel towards the nomads. It is Waiting for the Barbarians by J.M. Kutse. Waiting for the Barbarians by J.M. Kutse. Now next question. A domestic drama of social criticism from the year 1993 depicts the story of Mr. Nanda, a middle-aged man. He is committing suicide after bearing the pangs of his eldest son having committed suicide 14 years ago. Identify the author of this play. Who wrote this play? The play is called Don't Call It Suicide. The play is called Don't Call It Suicide. Will you remember? Who wrote this play, Bolo? It is Nisim Ezekiel. Nisim Ezekiel wrote the play. Don't call it suicide. It is a domestic drama of social criticism. Mr. Nanda is committing suicide 14 years after his son committed suicide. Will you remember guys? Nisim Ezekiel's Don't call it suicide. WB set based. Okay, this is. This is based on WB set. All these Author's works came in W.B. set. Which of these critical works on Shakespeare is wrongly matched with the author? Reading Shakespeare historically, Lisa Jardine, Shakespeare, our contemporary, Jan Cott, Political Shakespeare, Carolyn Spurgeon. Which of these is wrongly matched? Which of these is wrongly matched? All these came in that exam. I did not make it up. These are all based on W based set question paper. They came in exam. Reading Shakespeare historically is by Lisa Jardine. Shakespeare, our contemporary, is by Jan Cott. Jan Cott. No, I am not teaching in an academy. I taught only for six months. I don't want to teach anywhere else except my tests. Where 650 students are attending our classes now for net. It's amazing. Listen, reading Shakespeare historically is by Lisa Jardine. Shakespeare, our contemporary, is by Jan Cott. Political Shakespeare is not by Caroline Spurgeon. Political Shakespeare is by Jonathan Dollymore, Alan Sinfield, etc. Jonathan Dollymore, Alan Sp Sinfield, etc. wrote Political Shakespeare. Will you remember, guys? Political Shakespeare is a book of cultural materialism. It is cultural materialism. Political Shakespeare is not by Caroline Spurgeon. 
so what is the uh, way to uh, face the next exams look at all the questions that are asked in ex recent exams many of the authors and works are repeated in many exams many authors and works are repeated in many exams if we do this regularly you will get a lot of questions from this pdf okay guys it is going to be extremely useful we are going to do this which of the following is wrongly matched in wb set they asked about quakers who founded quakers these are the founders these are the founders in wb set they asked who is the founder of quakers so i have given theophilus lindsay unitarianism is it correct john wesley founded methodism is it correct george fox founded quakers religion is it correct i am not teaching i how many times i should say ria you are not listening to me eh? you can't you hear me i am not teaching on an academy i am teaching in my own institute i went to an academy only for 6 months ria keeps on asking how many ever times i say thomas cranmer anglicanism is wrong it is not thomas cranmer but henry the 8 who brought anglicanism henry the 8 who brought anglicanism did you understand these are all correct i am giving this to you to study theophilus lindsay founded unitarianism george wesley methodism george fox quakers religion ria ria can you hear me ria okay which of the following is not a term discussed by deluse and guatri bolo which of these is not a term discussed by deluse and guatri body without organs assemblage rhizome schizo analysis ria ria can you hear me <laughs> okay i thought you didn't hear me bolo bolo kya hai which of these terms is not discussed are sab delus and guatri ne discuss kiya all these are discussed by them all these are discussed by delus and guatri body without organs also they talked about all these are based on delus and guatri okay assemblage rhizome what do that what does that mean it means like internet meanings are generated everywhere it is not vertical but everywhere like that read extra you will understand the gift of death or a in two exams they asked about gift of death in two exams recently they asked about gift of death the gift of death by jacques derrida is a discussion of dash the gift of death by jacques derrida is a discussion of dash is it the cultural artifact of adventure the cultural practice of exchanging gifts or religion if i see your udemy all videos will i be able to pass net my method is different neha if you watch anybody's videos it is not enough you have to read extra about all this you have to do research based study i am giving you videos because i am giving you what to read extra you have to read extra research based study is all that you need that is the only thing that will help you and i am laying a proper foundation if you mug up anybody's material or video or pdf you can't answer because many questions will come from your own reading answers will come are 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 you got it wrong guys the gift of death is about various kinds of death in religion ye sab mera hi bakwas hai religion different kinds of death according to religion 
it can be suicide it can be um execution it can be murder yes neha then you will surely get jrf it is about religion gift of death is by derida it is about religion in two exams they asked okay read extra then the poem moscus mosciferus is an ecological poem which begins thus uh, moscus mosciferus is an ecological poem in the high jungle where assam meets tibet wow he is talking about assam Tadang! Moscus mosciferus is an ecological poem, which begins in the high jungle where Assam meets Tibet. Identify the order. I don't know cut off and all that. I am just a teacher of English literature. It is ecological, but it is not Judith Wright. Are it is a D hope. It is A D Hope. A D Hope wrote Moscus Mosciferus. Aha! This is based on Net twenty twenty two. This is based on Net twenty twenty two. कल भी करेंगे ठीक है? पांच दिन करेंगे. देखो ना. A D Hope ने लिखा Book of Answers. Moscus Mosciferus is prescribed in many universities. Okay, guys. Will you remember? Then. After great pain, a formal feeling comes. Is a poem about dash. Is it war, emotional trauma, the experience of death? After great pain, a formal feeling comes. This is a poem by Emily Dickinson in Net Twenty Twenty Two Question Paper. It is there. Ha ha! Arthi remembers. A poem, Eddy Hope. <laughs> After great pain, a formal feeling comes. It is by Emily Dickinson in Net Twenty Twenty Two Question Paper. It was there. It is a poem about Nehi. It is a poem about emotional trauma only. It is a poem about emotional trauma. It is not about death. It is about emotional trauma. अरे कुछ भी बोल देते हो क्या है आप लोग emotional trauma remember theek hai read the poem read about it so now guys take the question papers and read about every question every option will you do that a death in the desert is a didactic poem that speaks about the true nature of divine powers who is the author A death in the desert is a didactic poem that speaks about the true nature of divine powers. Who is the author? Tukka laga rahe hain sab kyu? Because you are not reading the question paper and studying. Study based on the question paper, guys. Based on Net Twenty Twenty Two, this is a death in the desert is a didactic poem. About the true nature of divine bias. देख divine देखते ही Hopkins क्यों बोल रहे हो आप लोग? अरे divine जहाँ भी होता है Hopkins नहीं होता. It is Robert Browning. If Hopkins is there, that doesn't mean anything. It is not Hopkins. It is Robert Browning. Will you remember, guys? Will you remember, guys? Robert Browning wrote a death in the desert. It is part of dramatis personae. Oh yo, this was also there in Net Twenty Twenty Two. The revelations of an orderly by Panchkori Khan exposes dash. The revelations of an orderly by Panchkori Khan. The abuses of administration. ध्यान से पढ़ो क्वेश्चन हु इज एन ऑर्डरली ऑर्डरली का मतलब है प्यून 
office assistant, abuses of administration, patriarchal biases of Indian culture, materialism of Indian middle class. This is very easy. Bolona. The revelations of an orderly. Even if you never heard this before, you can answer. Revelations of an orderly by Panch Kori Khan is about orderly matlab pyun hota hai na pyun to hoga abuses of administration and it is there part of the title this is part of the subtitle revelations of an orderly orderly hota hai offices mein office mein samajh rahe ho did you understand Orderly is there in offices only. That is why abuses of administration. It is part of the subtitle. Okay. Ayyo. I wrongly put two, two times. Dun, dun, dun. I think that is all for today. I, I think we have come to the end of today's session. Did you like that guys? Will you study all these authors' words of all the exam question papers? Sab hai na hamare group mein. I will post in the group, telegram group, these questions, okay? I will post without answers. Q Because I want to use it again. I want you to use it again and again. Theek hai guys? Love you all. God bless you all. Study well and pass. Very good. I will post it in the telegram group. Okay guys. Bye bye.